what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is dr martin uh thank you so much for coming back once again um and if you are new obviously as you do know uh, click the subscribe button over there uh obviously switch on your notifications so you're obviously like um you know alerted every single time i post a video and stuff like that so if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for being a loyal member and a loyal you know uh, what can i say i asked you guys to give me a name for the channel you haven't actually given me but thank you so much for being a part of us um so on today's video i basically want to cover a couple of questions that you guys sent to me i have been planning on doing this for the longest time but obviously these are like a lot of questions so i've got like a lot of questions and i'm not gonna cover all of them i'm gonna try and read up like you know ones that i think are obviously like a necessity to me so this is like a one-on-one -on -one kind of a thing if you were to like meet me and ask me a question this is that kind of a thing because then people sent questions that um i had asked for them to obviously pick from everything that you would have wanted to ask me if you were to meet me in person um and these were the questions that people sent to me but before we go to that you already know let's go look at the video what's up guys ever wondered what broker i trade with so obviously we do trade with hanko trade and obviously you can obviously go to the website search with whatever searching browser that you do have uh just type on the hankotrade.com and this is what's going to come up on your screen and if you do look at this we do have the about us tab and why would you trade with hanko obviously with the contact us tab and the frequently asked questions you do have the account types over there you do have the stp ecn ecn plus and islamic accounts which is obviously a great option for someone that wants to diversify their trading accounts and you do have trading products as well we do offer different trading markets as you can see we do have the ethics markets we do have the commodities markets all the the way through the cryptocurrency markets and we do obviously use metatrader 4 and 5 so this is also like a great option for traders who are obviously looking to diversify their trading accounts as well and we do have partnership options you can open up a white label with the broker you can obviously become an introducing broker and you can have pam and mem accounts even with us as well so we do have different tools that we do have on the website like the fx calculator and obviously you can browse through the website look at the different options that we do have we do have the scp accounts with obviously a minimum deposit of ten dollars the ecn accounts with the minimum deposit of a hundred and obviously the ecn plus accounts with the minimum deposit of a hundred dollars and all these can obviously be looked at on the website and if you do or want to open an account with us do click on the link on my description and thank you so much peace out right uh welcome back um so yeah i'm gonna go through the list of the questions so we've got like questions that i've obviously covered in the past questions that i've never covered like stuff that i've spoken about stuff i've actually never spoken about so i'm gonna answer these few questions that you guys sent me so the first question is how much time did you spend to attain knowledge i mean that's that's quite general that's something i always talk about that with me when i started trading i spent like countless hours and time to ensure that i obviously acquire the relevant kind of knowledge that i do have right now so when i started uh, trading i spent hours and hours i would really have like less time to myself and more time to the charts uh so i spent like countless hours and the next question is are you a doctor well yeah man i'm a doctor i'm dr martin and it ends there <laughs> i'm joking um yeah man i'm a doctor <laughs> and then um the next one is uh what would you advise yourself as a beginner i would really say the same thing i say over and over again like i would really say like focus on yourself and you know play out the noise around you and see how far that would take you that's what i would say and the next one is um how did you build up your psychology obviously that i also covered that is through um you know the learning and obviously the research that i did when i started trading you know and um how do you adapt to market conditions this is actually quite an important question like the way to adapt to market conditions is always being on your charts and being there to see and experience the moves that the market prints out so you're able to adapt to the moves that the market prints out i mean uh, you cannot say that the market stays constant and consistent through the years like it changes with the years and you need to be there to kind of witness that like i don't really advise people to take 
three month breaks from trading because you're going to trade three months ago when you come back three months later and the market conditions are different so for me um you know i really think that it's okay for people to like always be on the charts so that they're able to see how the market moves and that's how you sort of like adapt to the market conditions um and then um in my swing swing or a scalper well i'm an intraday trader i'm not a swing or a scalper i just trade intraday moves and um how to deal with emotional trading so obviously with this this i do think that you know you overcome this with experience like the more you the more you know the more you trade that's the more um it sort of like gets better so there's no like recipe on how to overcome your emotions but obviously this is through practical application of uh you know what you've learned what you know and what is in front of you and the more you do that on a day-to-day -day basis your system gets used to it and you end up you know being able to obviously juggle your emotions and trading um the relationship between me and my brother well uh so my brother, so and, my brother I and i are twins but obviously we don't live together and uh you know we've been twins since birth i don't know if there's twins that actually like you know became twins along the way but you know these things happen it's in the world bro <laughs> so um we've been twins since we were born and obviously uh you know we 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 were like really tight but the more we grew older we sort of had like you know different paths to follow he went and did his own thing i went and did my own thing and then uh we came back together when we started trading and we sort of like worked together so me and that dude are actually cool like yeah we're fine <laughs> so um if today was a world stealing day what would you steal wow if today was world stealing day what would i steal uh bro <laughs> i don't know if i even have it in me to steal but um i think i would i would really steal um like um a lamborghini svj that's that's what i would steal like <laughs> I, i would kill to have one of those in my garage bro like you know that's 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 proper so i'd really maybe opt to go for that uh how many times do i check the market in a week uh it really depends on how how busy i am in that week so sometimes obviously i'll check it on a day-to-day -day basis if i don't have anything in between but um like but every day i'm in the markets like every single day i'm in the markets like yeah every day i check the markets to see exactly what it is that's on there um i might not trade every day but i'm there every day to see exactly what's happening so i know what happened today and why it happened and how it happened so i'm in the markets like every single day uh what made me start forex so obviously like you know pursuit of a better life because i knew that you know like you know I, I, there was a better life out there and someone convinced me well and good enough that forex was the way to actually you know um you know, pers like get that so that's why i started trading i'm trying to pick like the best questions from the questions that you guys actually sent me so i'm not going to i'm not going to like you know respond to all questions because some of the stuff i've actually spoken about on interviews and lives and stuff like that so um uh, let me see uh advice on babysitting trades i would say uh you know it really depends if you are like me like i i really want to see how the market plays out at entry before i can let go of my trade so i really look at how the market forms around my entry before i can completely let go of them and say yeah now i'm done looking at them so there's not really like there's, there's nothing bad about it i mean if you love what you have you are gonna look at it so even if it's in profits i still go and look at my profits and i'm like yo like yeah man we're doing good so uh, there's nothing wrong about that i wouldn't say you need to let go of it so yeah uh advice on 9 to 5 us who are seeking to trade like full time i would say uh find a way to juggle both for now because then uh you know you need to at least be able to make twice what you're making at work for you to now consider trading uh full time i think that's like a logical kind of approach you know uh i think that's a logical approach uh re the relationship between my christianity and trading i don't really think i don't really think there's like anything wrong with trading hence uh, i don't think trading affects my relationship with god if anything my relationship with god amplifies my trading because 
I do believe and know that God wants all the good things for me and that he has planned for me to be the best person that I can be. So I think obviously with me being at the right standing and with me, uh, you know, nurturing and taking care of my relationship with God, that puts me at a better position to know that he equips and prepares my hands for wealth so that when I go trade, I go trade knowing well that I'm backed up by God to do what I want to do for myself. So I think, uh, you know, my relationship with God amplifies my trading. It's not the trading that amplifies my relationship with God but my relationship with God helps me know and understand that everything else not even trading alone everything else like you know in the Bible there's a verse that says blessed be the Lord our God who has enabled us to create wealth and that gives me the confidence that even before we attain the wealth we have been enabled to create the wealth that we are we, we aspire so I think for me that's like the most important thing that my relationship with God has to be like at the proper position and standing for me to now be able to then obviously go into other spheres and excel trading we excel you know clothing we want to dress nicely you know where we live we want to live nicely where we, whatever we drive we want to drive nice cars like because god has given us these things so i do think that my relationship with god amplifies everything else that's around me so yeah man that's that's just about it and then um how did you feel about cutting people off from your life? I mean, losing, like, loss is never good in any way. Whether you lose friends, you lose money, you lose loved ones, like, it's never a really good thing. But sometimes God uses loss for elevation. I think I covered this on the previous video as well, that, you know, you need to be able to accept that there's people who aren't good enough for your journey like there's friends who are not good enough for where you are personally going and if you do see that and identify that then you really need to cut ties with them and like really you know cut them off bro like you can two cannot work together unless they agree if you want to go to the north and i'm going to the south then continue going to the north and i'm going to the south and you going to the north doesn't then make uh, my direction to the south wrong or like it doesn't make me a bad person for going to the south it's just that we're not in the same path and the same in the same notion that your friends that don't see in the same eye and light as you are not bad friends you just don't see in the same eye so it's like you know cut them off and just build the person you want to be and not focus on them so for me like um you know it was it wasn't it wasn't like a difficult thing to do because i do believe in the notion of saying that if you are meant to be in my life you will be in my life and if you aren't obviously you're not going to be uh you know you're not going to be in my life how do i manage my relationship and forex wow <laughs> question of the year <laughs> um I think I think uh, I don't like really stay on the screen for hours now and that's kind of like better and it helps me to distribute my time like wisely and correctly so I do have time for important things in my life and um, you know my relationship is obviously one of the most important things in my life and I do give it time and I still do give my charts so it's just a matter of putting everything in it in its rightful place and ensure that um, you know your time is distributed like accurately enough for everything and everyone in your life to feel the importance of them being there in, in your life so yeah that's that's how I, I i i juggle things it's just time management bro um what was your motivation when you felt like giving up obviously uh you know what i had in my head was bigger than what was in front of me and what was in my head pushed me to break through what was in front of me just so what is in my head can become what's in front of me in the same light that i'm still going even now that i still have bigger dreams even uh despite the fact that i've got stuff that are be like be, like in front of me and what is in my head is greater than what i'm currently uh, looking at in my eyes so that's what keeps me going like i'm a dreamer in my head i've got a lot of things and that helps me keep pushing and keep uh, you know grinding uh, let me see. Uh, let me just pick two last questions. Uh, let me see. Mm, King Sean Lee's mentorship. So let me just give you guys like a, a glimpse of of the of the dude. So this guy's a guy from the from the UK, obviously, and he's obviously good. So um, I do think that he's actually like a good mentor. 
and for the mere fact that you know some of us became what we are and who we are from the knowledge that he was able to like build i think he's 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 a great guy like he's a great dude i would recommend him to anyone so yeah and then the last question that i'm going to i'm going to take is um how to involve god in your grind i think this is like you know the last question and the most important question i do think that every single person who is grinding in their lives has to get to a point where god is a part of the equation let me tell you like you know god being a part of your life is not him trying to master and take over your life but it's him trying to bring out the best in you and really make you the person that you are supposed to be and i do think that it's important that you involve and include god in everything that you do because as you are trying to build wealth and as you are trying to become the better person that you are there's a lot of forces that are fighting this person that you want to be and what you are trying to build and god is the only source in the whole world who is well equipped enough to be stronger than anything that we do know mainly because he created all things so i do think that when you do have the creator on your side there is nothing that has been created that can really defeat you because you have the creator himself and also it's amazing how god gives you the the blueprint of things when you believe in him and allow for him to really rule and reign in your life so i do think that it's really important that we bring ourselves closer to god just so we can see our life take a different turn because he's able to guide you like you know the bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by god like he's able to even order your steps as you are doing whatever it is that you are trying to do so i do think that it's important that you do involve god in whatever it is that you do and i think that's a beautiful question to close this questionnaire with and um you know thank you so much for watching this video once again and if you are new to this channel um you already know what other youtubers say do subscribe on this channel uh drop it uh, comment down below let me know what you do you do think about today's video and um you know thank you so much for coming back once again if you are a returning subscriber uh drop a comment down below as well let me know what you think and thank you so much for the support that you guys have been showing on the previous videos i cannot wait to see what the year holds for all of us as we are watching this and i do think and believe and pray that everyone who watched who watched today's video will basically be a better version of themselves so this is dr martin guys and thank you so much for watching my video and we are signing out peace out